What is up guys? Welcome back to another Crypto Camel video. Hope you guys are doing great. Just finished up with the AMA over on Discord with Hoj Finance and I'm going to share with you guys all the insights, all the announcements, the new exchange and when it's happening, all the marketing and all that good stuff. Now if you guys are enjoying these quick videos, be sure to smash the like button. Really appreciate it and make sure you are subscribed if you haven't already so you are notified of these daily uploads and let's just jump right into it guys. So Big one is this new exchange, the global exchange that we are talking about for Hoj. And now Hoj is going to be paired with USDT and also Ethereum. You can buy fiat and then get some Ethereum, get some USDT, pair it against Hoj. So let's take a look at the notes, took down a lot of notes. So above all, this is really going to plug us into the Asian market, Hoj Finance and Asian market. This is going to be a big step. So we could see a really bullish uh, move on the price point of Hoj. Keep an eye on Hoj's price. Uh, big marketing also. So uh, the willingness to help promote uh, marketers, having influencers talk about Hoj in WeChats and groups uh, that they will connect Hoj to. Uh, one Asian influencer, one American one. Uh, big one, they said, correct me if I'm wrong, is uh, focusing on everywhere essentially except for the U.S., and Sudan, I don't know if it's all of Sudan or certain areas of it. The listing date is April the 16th, 2021. That's right at midnight Friday. So keep your eyes peeled for that. And we will see marketing campaigns right away also. Now, like I said, the pairings will be Hoj and USDT and also Hoj and Ethereum, which is unique because usually it's just been one or the other. So we're going to have both, which is sick. Now, Hojman also talked about the legal entity, some of the legal stuff going on with France and Switzerland. Uh, he was saying how some of the paperwork is still in the process of kind of being rolled out and it will quote unquote, it will clear by the end of next week. Uh, they are quote, waiting on French government and uh, the paperback from lawyers. Entity, he did say, will be in Switzerland and they're figuring out how to transfer the power to a nonprofit uh, entity to make sure the power lies in the community. So kudos to them for taking the time slowly to make sure that, you know, this is going to be in the right hands and that it's in the hands of the community ultimately. So we don't have some sort of troll power dynamic. He did say, quote, rest assured, France has the strongest trademark laws in the world. Switzerland also best regarded, really well regarded for their crypto regulation and their laws. So this is great because the, he did talk about if someone tries to infringe. So did take down some notes. If someone infringes on a trademark, the offending person will go before a judge. Uh, if you are able to prove uh, that they are using your likeness, you are entitled to the profits, etc. Basically, to summarize, if someone tries to copy Hoj, then Hoj will have the power if they desire to take it down, if it's worth their time. Uh, he made an analogy of kind of like Disney. That's been their model for a long time. And that's how they tackle copyright issues and to make sure that no one is trolling this project. Um, so we then entered some Q&A and some more talks. So big one, like I said, fiat to Ethereum or USDT. So you can get fiat right there. So it's going to be a one-stop shop to get Hoj, which is great. Uh, no talks about the redistribution. So we'll see how that's going to be handled, if it will be supported, if not. Uh, talks about an official Hoj wallet have been circulating and some people in the community have been talking about working on it, but the uh, dev team, there's no plans to work on this in the uh, immediate future. Hoj, they did say they're not concerned about copycats. They want people to be involved in crypto and at the end of the day, quote unquote, we will still be here. So Hoj is really going to be here for the long stretch, the years, two years, three years, four years, five years plus. So keep that really at the back of your head. Now, do you guys have any ideas? If you guys have any cool ideas to work on stuff with Hoj Finance, of course, check out Hoj Nation. Um, jump in the Telegram group. If you want to send an email, you can at marketing at hoj.finance. They did mention that in the AMA. And they discussed then how do they feel about getting on Binance Smart Chain, BSC. So they are aware that the community really wants it. They said, quote, we have absolutely heard that the community wants it. Hoj is trying to do the long-term success and growth, and they're not really concerned about a short, small pump. So 
They did say that they've been running the numbers back and forth and there are a lot of costs, but also legal ramifications. So for the projects that are involved with Hoj, all of a sudden they're also involved in legal ramifications that are affected on the Binance Smart Chain. So something to keep in mind. And they did say, and this goes back to what I was talking about, guys, about EIP-1559 and Ethereum 2.0 and decentralization. And they said that, quote, the Ethereum network is going to blow up and be very successful this summer. Very bright future for Ethereum. So that is looking really good. Now, moving on to Chonker. Uh, they did talk about Chonker. So Hojman talked about Chonker Finance having their arts, their NFT stuff about 95% done. He briefly did talk about how Chonker will be building, uh, there's going to be like a staking pair and you're going to be able to earn a chonk as a reward, which you can use to fish for NFTs. So it's going to be exciting to see that kind of unravel and see what kind of unique stuff we can do with like uh, using our hoish for different purposes. They did mention how like the Certic audit and the lawyer fees, these fees have all been fronted by the developers. So really thank you to them. They've been, you know, going into their own pockets. They've been working endless hours. So this really is a community project, guys. This is going to go as far as we take it. The more we work together, and it's not to say that without one specific person, the whole thing's going to collapse. But when we all work together, we can really take this to the next level. And that takes me to the last point, which is really great. And that's what's the five-year plan for Hoj? And so they really talked about use cases, being able to have a strong payment system integrated globally, uh, being on all the big exchanges. More so, what about the use cases, uh, providing real tangible value to Hoj, helping and building the community and be the model of investment in decentralized finance. They did say that, hey, you are, quote, in an extraordinarily unique project. So they do want to focus, Hojman said, on bringing in academics, scholars. Uh, he did say putting Hoj in space, but hey, <laughs> take that with a great assault. Solving the gas fees, Hojman did say the gas fees are really problematic, and their goal is to have uh, Hoj on as many networks as possible. So guys, so much cool news coming out of the AMA today. Let me know what you guys think about this new exchange. This is going to help uh, Hoj really enter this uh, market of high volume Asian markets, basically global and having a dual pair, having a strong marketing campaign and big one. And this Asian crypto market is really booming and growing rapidly. It's where a lot of the money is. And even though I wasn't familiar with this name, this is going to be a huge step for uh, Hoj Finance and DeFi in general. And these guys are pretty much like top 20. Even though it's a top 20 to 30, they're performing a little bit better. So just keep that in mind is that, you know, be mindful of the price you might want to get in now. You might want to get in, you know, I mean, it's not financial advice. I'm not a financial expert. Take everything I say with a grain of salt. But I can see some reasons why we would see some bullish movement with this coming out on Big One next week. Now, one last thing before we wrap up, guys. Hoj Finance does have a new about section. Ch uh, check out the website, hoj.finance. They've made some updates uh, one in particular that they discussed today in the AMA is the uh, blog section. So you can see announcements. This is a new source of truth. So if you don't want to go to Twitter, if you just want to go right to the homepage, they've been listening, they've been adding additions. And so right now, actually, I just refreshed this and it changed. You can see perfect. It used to be this. And now we see a new announcement with big one, which is going to be incredible. This collaboration is looking really good because they're really excited to list Hoj. They're going to be uh, targeting many countries, you got China, you got Korea, you got India, you got everywhere really. And so this is going to be a lot of volume and we're going to see a lot of price increase in my opinion. Now, let me know what you guys think. That is a wrap for today. A lot of dope information coming out of the AMA and that's a wrap guys. Hope you guys have a great day. Keep hodling that Hoj and we will take Hoj to the moon and beyond. Take care.